Sonic, the heart of your system. Alright guys, Dominic here for KitGuru, and while 1650 Super may have been officially announced almost a month ago, the actual release date for this new GPU is today, or the 22nd of November. So at the time this video goes live, I will actually be on a plane, so unfortunately that does mean our full review of 1650 Super is going to have to wait until next week. That said, I did think we could get something up in time for the launch, so we are going to take an unboxing of one of the 1650 Super cards we have been sent, and specifically this model here is the Asus ROG Strix OC card. So basically we're just going to unbox it, see what the card looks like, see what we get inside, and we'll also talk about some of the specs of the 1650 Super as we go. So first thing to really mention I guess is this nice kind of colourful box, it's always got the neon ROG logo, that's one of the uh, kind of mainstays of the Strix cards, and I just get rid of this, just a little bit of plastic there, and then we can hopefully get inside. <clears throat> so first things first, we have a little protective piece there, I'll just chuck that on the floor. The card, of course, in its anti-stacking, in its anti-stacking, in its anti-static wrap, I should say. We'll put that off to one side for now. I'm imagining there'll be a couple of accessories. As we just kind of get to the bottom of this, uh, it's worth touching on some of the core spec as we see, what is this? Some kind of inc included manual. Feels like there might be quick start guide and a thank you note. Excellent stuff. Um, and then, What's that? A couple of hook and loop straps. That looks like, yep, that's the whole bundle. So yeah, like I said, core spec of the 1650. This is an interesting area because 1650 Super, it's not actually an upgraded 1650. More accurate is calling it a kind of cut down 1660. That's because it uses the same TU116 GPU as 1660. In actual fact, 1650 Super only has two SMs or 128 CUDA cores less than the original 1660. So that is that is really kind of one of the core features. Um, the other thing, of course, is also the difference in memory. So it's still got four gigabytes of VRAM, just like the original 1650, but with the 1650 Super, it's four gigabytes of G6, which is clocked at 12 gigabits per second. So that is basically is the core spec. So like I said, probably more accurate to call it a cut down 1660 rather than a upgraded 1650. Uh, but now we'll kind of take a look at the Asus card. So this obviously is one of their strict models. Uh, so it's kind of got this typical uh, signature black styling. I do personally really like it. We have got quite a bit of plastic to peel off. So um, let me try and find the best place to do so. If I can try and actually grab some. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good feeling. A uh, bit more, bit more. It looks like it's two separate pieces on top of the shroud. Great, okay, so first things first, initial impressions, I do like the look of these Strix cards. They do have this kind of neat black styling. Uh, the two fans here, these are the new Axial Tech fans. So they have this ring going around the outside which kind of contains the fan. It just says this should improve overall airflow down onto the heatsink itself. Eyeballing them, they look like 90 millimeter fans, but I will just check that. They might be 85. Um, um, yeah, so then they're, they're 95 blade to blade, so they might be 100 overall diameter, um, but that's relatively decent. Remember, this is a 1650 Super, so it's not the most high-end card, so um, two relatively large fans like that should do the job fine. What else have we got to mention? ROG logo here. I would imagine this is going to be an Asus Aura zone for the RGB lighting. And of course, a lovely backplate. It looks like 
this might oh yeah that was a bit better than the other ones we did it looks like this yeah it is a metal backplate on a 1650 super that is probably going to be quite unusual i remember when we did 1660 super um, most of those cards only had plastic backplates. Uh, one from EVGA did have a metal backplate, but even at that price point, that's quite a unique feature. So definitely for the 1650, this is definitely going to be one of the more premium cards. Um, what else have we got? So this is a feature, I'm again, which is on the 1650 Super Strix. There's a fan header just on the end of the PCB. So if you do have another fan in your case, maybe you've run out of headers on your motherboard, you can plug that in directly to the graphics card itself into the PCB and have the fan speed controlled by the graphics card itself instead of maybe your CPU, for instance. Speaking of things on the PCB, it's actually interesting. Uh, we've already mentioned the kind of fact that this is gonna be one of the more premium 1650 solutions. And that is kind of made even clearer as there's actually dual BIOS on this 1650. It looks like there's both the, uh, what they call it, the I think it's Q, I guess, for quiet and then P for performance. So dual BIOS, by default, it's in the P mode, so performance mode. And there's also a button next to here. I believe you press this button and it will disable all of the RGB. I will need to double check that. Considering there's only, to my knowledge, only one RGB zone, which is quite small anyway, don't know if that button's really necessary, uh, but I think we're really getting the idea that this is going to be a premium 1650 Super. Strix always is. Um, so whether or not that actually makes sense, we'll have to talk about in our full review, but it's definitely nice to get a look at the kind of quality high-end cards. Display ports, if we quickly remove all the blanking plates. Two HDMI and two Display ports. I know, I think, Asus has typically gone with that same configuration in the past, I guess for VR headset compatibility. I don't know if you'll be using this for VR, but maybe you will. Okay, so that is most of it in a nutshell. Um, yeah, dimensions is a good point. It's not a massive card. Um, I did actually get sent official dimensions, so I will just read those out for you guys. So this card measures 24.3 by 13 by 4.7 centimeters. So for probably for a 1650 Super, I'd imagine this might be one of the slightly larger ones. We'll probably see a lot of single fan cars. Obviously, I really wouldn't expect the GPU to need that much in the way of cooling. Speaking of cooling with this one, we will disassemble the card for the full review. I'm not gonna do it now because I haven't tested the card. So if I do disassemble it, that's obviously going to have implications for our performance. But on the initial look, it looks like it's a two, two eight millimeter um, heat pipe cooler, and it looks like a single single fin stack under there as well. But I think that is all. No, no, one more feature to mention. 1650 Super does need a six pin power connector. Original 1650 could be, you know, entirely powered by the uh, PCIe slots. That is not the case for 1650 Super, as it has more SMs. It's I like we said, a cut down 1660, so it does need a PCIe power connector. I think that is gonna do it for this inboxing though. We've basically given an initial overview of the card. Like we said, I would expect this to be one of the more expensive 1650 solutions. As to whether you should buy this card and to exact performance of 1650 Super, we are going to have to wait and see for our full review. That will be up next week, so stay tuned for that. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I would expect this card to be a fair bit faster than the original 1650 due to the core count increase and also the upgraded memory. So it might actually be almost as fast as 1660, so we will have to see. Uh, but that basically is this Strix card in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, like I said, so you will catch our full review of this card next week. You can also leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of 1650. I know it's been a lot of different launches now for NVIDIA. And finally, if you want to join us on Discord, you can find the invitation link for that down below. So until then though, guys, I'm Dominic Forkit Guru, and this has been our unboxing of the 1650 Super Asus ROG Strix.